James Parkin and welcome to Living Life DMD style. And today is the 7th of September and this is World Dushan Awareness Day. And this is where people come to raise awareness, usually on like social media profile pictures. They do a red balloon with a child's name on it and their age just to basically raise awareness. So in this video, I'm going to do my bit to raise awareness and to basically tell you a bit of information about Dushan Muscular Dystrophy and also tell you like milestones in my life as someone that lives with the condition so hopefully if you don't know that much about the condition this will be a good video to watch so what is Duchenne muscular dystrophy well Duchenne muscular dystrophy dmd is a muscle wasting condition and about 20,000 people are born with dmd each year about one in 3,500 boys have the condition it also affects girls in rare occasions, it affects 1 in 50 million girls. But it is, of course, a life-limiting condition because it affects the muscles, we're weakening them. But treatments are getting better. As far as life expectancy goes, with DMD it can be varied, with the average life expectancy being 26. But I know people who are in the 30s, 40s and 50s that have the condition, so that would really depend on quality of care you have and certain medications which are improving all the time so things are looking up to be honest and even people getting old enough to get grey hair because I've started to get a few grey hairs so that's pretty much a big positive to be honest. Now talking about DMD can be quite difficult because every person's different and, and people have different ways to go about things so for the rest of the video I'm going to talk about my life and milestones, good and bad, that have happened in my life, just to give people with that young families with someone with DMD just a bit of an idea of what I did when I was younger. Well, I was born on the 11th of July 1993. I was diagnosed with DMD in 1995 when I was two years old. And later on that year, my brother Thomas was born on the 2nd of December 1995 and we pretty much knew from when he was born that he had DMD as well. Now growing up in the younger age he wasn't that much, too much different from anyone else. I was slower than everyone else but didn't think too much about it. But by the time I was 10 I'd lost the ability to walk and then a few months later Thomas lost the ability to walk. It was challenging but I was unaware of DMD that much but that was a positive because I just wanted to be a kid. And when I was 13 2006 I had major surgery because my back was twisted and that's scoliosis. The surgery stopped it from getting worse. By 2009 I was 16 I was introduced to the ventilator that I use at night and that took a while to get used to it. In 2011 I turned 18 and that summer I decided to move to Coventry to go to Harold College. That meant moving away from home. At that college I gained lots of independent skills and made lots of memories and good friends and just had the best time really. You know, when I, after I started college I decided to put in for my driving lessons and tests and to do that I had to get the car first adapted and I'll do a, a video on that in a few weeks time. On the 13th of May 2012 my brother Thomas who of course had DMD that passed away. Now Thomas was always a lot weaker than me and found things really tough. He rarely showed it but always found things a bit more tougher and that year he lost a lot of weight and quite poorly and sadly passed away and I was at college when I found out. But I had a lot of really good people around me to help. I decided to continue with college and uh, in June 2013 I finished college and as soon as I got all oh, mad of course I wanted to continue with carers so I got a care package which is still the same company as I use now and that was good to continue my independence and in October of that year I passed my driving test which was really great because it meant I could continue to be even more independent. I, I also got a volunteer job that I did for many years and that was to help a local community centre with like the leaflets and advertising which was really good and really good people. I often drove my van to work by 2017 I was struggling a bit with my hands and had a couple of instances where I fell off the controller in the car. So by the end of 2017 I sort of hung up the car keys. 
over them few years, I still lived my life really well. I had really good time the activities I did, whether it was football or concerts. We had a, a good time over them years. Now, 2020 it wasn't a very good year for many people, really, because of COVID and things. And I found it quite difficult with having to shield. And by the end of the year, I started using the ventilator during the day for this, mainly in the evening time. So sometimes you'll see me with the ventilator in some of my videos. But in October of last year, I set up my YouTube channel, James Parking and Living Life, DMD style. And it's gone a lot better than I expected. And I really hope it's helping people because I thought it would help me when I was reading the start to do it. But it's gone really, really well. So thank you for people that watch my videos. Now that was basically a timeline of what I've done in my life so far. Now I thought by doing it that way it would be a lot more easy to explain because it's things I've done. I know that some people maybe have a lot of questions with if you've got like younger kids with a condition and hopefully that'll be a little bit of information that, and I really hope it helps. Now thank you for watching this video and I know it's been a longer video but thank you and I hope this video helps and raise awareness about DMD. So thank you. And on that note, I'll see you on the next one.